you thought today was just gonna be like any other video, but little did you know that today is the first day of your life. Hey, hey, Hammy here. Today, we're gonna be doing something that I've been looking forward to doing for quite a while now. Today, we're gonna be modding Stardew Valley. Now, Stardew Valley is easily one of my favorite games of all time. I'm even just excited that I get to talk about the game again. It only came out just a few years ago, but it's gone down as one of the best, if not the best, farming town life simulator thingy. And I've put a pretty good amount of time into this thing, and this isn't even including my Switch version, which has even more hours on it. Basically what I'm trying to say is that I've played the game a lot, it's good, let's mod it. Now there's a pretty hefty amount of things that you can do with this game, most of those things being aesthetic changes. If you notice at the beginning of the video, the buildings were changed to a Japanese style. It might have been hard though, I mean there was all those anime portraits right in your face. And those definitely stand out a little bit more, at least to me. But I think that the best way to get the most out of our experience modding this game is to start over. That's right, we're gonna start all the way over and we're gonna see exactly what we can do with this. Okay, let's just make a character really quickly. Grandpa User dies, okay. Soul crushing job, check. And once again, we're on our way to Stardew Valley. Once we get settled and talk to Robin and Mayor Lewis a little bit, we're off. It's been so long since I've played this game, it's great to be back! But things don't feel exactly right just yet, I think we gotta make some changes to our character. So let's start cheating! There's a lot of different things we could do, from adjusting skills and relationships, infinite stamina, giving ourselves, you know, a small loan to get started. And probably the most important thing, we need a good hat. We need a hat. Well, the pumpkin hat is, uh, well, it's pretty good. I'm a pumpkin now. Nope, never mind, I found a good hat. This is it, this is the one! So now that we've cheated, well, wait, I mean, now that we've played the game totally legitimately and earned everything, I think it's time we started planning for the future. I think first things first, we gotta start clearing out this farm so we can actually be farmers. What kind of game will we be playing if we didn't try to farm even a little bit? But farming normally is a little too slow, so I'm gonna boost up my speed a little bit. Well, here we go! You can't stop me, I'm gonna get so much done this first day! Well, I'm just gonna go around and quickly meet some of the people from the town, but I also think that we need a little help when it comes to clearing out our farm. But you know, I don't wanna have to run all the way to Robin's every time I wanna build something. What if I just became a god and built it myself? Okay, just need the proper materials here, just some iridium bars, nothing too crazy, a stack of 999 should do, uh, some batteries, and, uh, iron. And now we can use our God-given gifts to summon a tractor! Whoa! And thus the living God named Hammy created Tractor! Aw, yeah! Now we can use a tractor to clear out the farm! It'll be great! Just gonna give ourselves a little upgrade on our toolsies here. Yeah! Now that's what I call clearing! I'm a real country boy now! All I need is my truck, but I've got the tractor! Dang, this thing is actually really awesome! I'm gonna clear this farm in no time! Actually, I got an idea! Yeah! I'm gonna find so much stuff doing this! Oh wait, sorry, sorry guys, sorry! Well, I've at least cleared out most of the debris on the farm, and now I can start actually decorating the place. I mean, I'm gonna need some pathways, I'm gonna need some fences, I'm gonna need some animals, and I'm gonna need some places to plant my crops! You know, for some reason I can't even build a stable, so I'm actually gonna have to go to Robin's and have her build one for me. But first, I think it's time we start mingling with the townsfolk and becoming friends with them. So I'm just gonna take a few of these with me and start making some friends! Hey, little kid. You want a prismatic shard? Oh, <laughs> what do you know? She likes it! Everyone likes these things. Well, I have unlimited gifts enabled, so... Uh, I'm just gonna... And now we're best friends! You know, I should probably go around and make sure that I'm friends with at least a few people. You know, I don't want to be lonely on the farm. 
now you're probably thinking to yourself, I mean, I could just press a button and be friends with these people. But then it's like, have I really earned it? Have I earned it? I'm just gonna make like a few more friends, guys. Don't worry about it. Just like a few friends to type, type me over, you know? Oh, hey, what's up, Haley? You want one of these? Gross! She doesn't like them! They're useless! <laughs> They're useless! Screw you, man, I'm gonna ride my tractor through town, how about that? Well, I became friends with a lot of people, which means I'm seeing a lot of cutscenes now. And with the horse mask, I mean, some of them are kind of funny. You might be the only one around here who understands me. No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. <laughs> hey. Well, this is what my farm is starting to look like now, and I'm only on the second day. Pretty soon I'll have a horse, but I think I should focus on getting some barn animals now, too. And you know what? Better yet, I think we have a mission. I want someone to dance with me at the festival because when I made my original video, no one would. This'll show them. So, you know, it's like the first week of the game, but I think it's about time that we became eccentric billionaires to really show the townsfolk what's what. So I'm gonna really focus on building up this farm to be one of the greatest versions of the farm it can be. Ta-da! Welcome to the new farm! Wait, hold on. Don't worry about this guy. His name's Beefcake. I just spent four hours making this farm look aesthetic AF. We got the tractor in the shipping area filled with furnaces and recycling missions. It's back there, you can trust me. We got our first shed right over here. We're gonna be doing some really weird stuff in there later. That's right, you didn't think I would've thought of this, but I got, we got saplings. We got saplings going. We got barns, on barns, on coops, on coops. We're gonna have a lot of animals. And looky looky, a field for them to graze. We got us some hot iridium sprinkler action. We're gonna have plenty of crops to satiate the masses. Now let's go back up this way because we got the bees right over here. Look, there's even a little nook to plant flowers so we can get different types of honey. That's right, I thought of everything. This over here, I call Silo Central. We got all the storage we're ever gonna need to feed our animals. Plus, we got a field here. Two more sheds to top it off for now, and then my favorite place, an open field. I, I don't know what to do with it yet. Uh, like an orchard, maybe? Oh uh, Yeah, like an orchard. So now that we basically have everything set up, it's time to go get some animals. I opted for a mix of everything because we can mod pretty much all of it. And if you're sitting there asking yourself, why do you spend all that time making a really nice farm? Well, one, it looks good, shut up. And two, we're gonna need a lot of stuff for later. I mean, just look at the types of things we can actually change. We got all these cute animals now. We got llamas, bambies, and don't forget about beefcake. What, you don't like beefcake? All right, whatever, it's Ponyta now. What, you don't like Ponyta? Okay, it's Yoshi then. Um, Yoshi tip taps his feet. Wow. The, he's always tip tapping. You know what, never mind, it's a moped. The moped still sounds like a horse, though. Well, we still got a few things to take care of, namely the community center stuff and meeting the wizard. A lot of the early game stuff is kind of behind a time gate, so you kind of have to just progress the game. Plus, I want to unlock most of the stuff in the game so we can check out all kinds of mods. Speaking of which, I'm married now. That's right, it's only like the second week, but I'm married. Congratulations to me. I didn't take off the horse mask for the wedding. You know, my life in Stardew Valley is really coming together. I got a wife, I got a house. So let's ruin everything. I'm not gonna lie, guys. There's a lot of weird mods out there for Stardew Valley. You know how we were riding around on a moped? Well, that's Pam now. Yeah. I made Pam into the horse. Well, I mean, it was between her and Leah, and I just kind of figured Pam deserved it more, you know? Hey. Hey, Penny. What do you think of this? What do you think of my new ride? Eh? You got anything to say? Nothing? Huh? Oh, now this is awkward. So, uh, you know how we had cute animals? What if I turn them into people? Well, not people, monster men. <laughs> now they are monster men. Wait, this is weird. Monster girls! That's right, monster girls! Let's let them all roam free! 
Be free, my monster ladies! Wait, can you still do what I... Oh, God. <laughs> what is my channel even anymore? Well, it's about dang time you showed up, dog. Get to your doghouse! Been waiting for you for like a whole month? Hey, so I installed a butcher mod. It lets you, uh, butcher stuff. No! I'm not gonna lie, it's really profitable if you butcher your monster girls. They give you all the best high-grade meats. I mean, alternatively, I guess you could, uh, impregnate them. Uh... So, you know how there's that one quest where you, you, you find Mayor Lewis's underwear in, uh, Marnie's place, and you're supposed to give it back to him? Well, why leave everyone out of the fun? Now you can collect everyone's underwear! Collect it from the floor! Find it in their trash cans! Put it in a secret chest in your house that hopefully your wife doesn't see! Set up an elaborate joke where you collect everyone's underwear, and you're gonna use it in the luau, so you make everyone eat it! Uh, but, uh, that doesn't actually work out. You can't throw them in? Are you joking me? Oh, well, at least my Grange display is perfect now. Oh, no, he's just about to grade it, guys. I'm really nervous about this one. I'll just get up really close to him and really intimidate him. Better give me what I want, Mayor Lewis. Fourth place, what? Oh man. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, Mayor Lewis. I'm a gamble addiction now. I don't want to dive too deeply into the fact that there's also a description for every pair of underwear you find. And some of them are really weird. Willie's underwear smells vaguely like fish. George's underwear, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this! Aged and experienced? No! Okay, so after my crippling gambling addiction, I figured it was probably best that we just off most of the town. I don't think there's a redemption arc in line for our character at this point. We'd pretty much be alienated from the town. I mean, especially after getting fourth place. I mean, come on. So I actually have this brilliant idea, but first we have to go to that weird shrine at the back of Pierre's store. With this mod, if you present a golden pumpkin to the altar of Yoba, you get this really crazy staff. It's called the Wand of Transfiguration. What does it let you do? You get to kidnap people, of course. That's right, it's time for the most ultimate mission. We're gonna make our way through the town and kidnap all the people. Schwartz was kind of a freebie, let's be honest. Easy, easy. She'll never see us coming. That's right, get her. Yeah! Uh-oh! Code Red! You can't collect the kids! Get out of there! Just be cool. Just be casual. I'm just going around the town having a good walk, you know? Got her! Okay, so there's a few things that we can do with the people once we have them. Neither option is good for them. You could totally just, uh, eat them raw if you want to. Yeah, I want to eat Pam. Wait, is it hot Pam or just regular Pam? Because there's a difference. I don't know why they turn into, like, bushes, but they give a really good energy boost. You know what they say, get your greens. Ah, uh, don't think I'd leave you out, Abigail. Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? Oh, God. So you remember how I told you we'd be doing some weird stuff in this shed? Well, I wasn't lying. I almost have it all set up. Perfect. Now we can just grind up the people and turn them into seeds. That's right, seeds. I wonder how long it takes to make people seeds. Oh, apparently not that long. Well, we should clear out some space to plant these babies, right? Nothing but the best for all my best friends. Every single one of them is a best friend. This doesn't change that. Well, just about wrapping up here with some planting. So all we gotta do now is uh, wait. It's the hardest part. Well, things are coming along pretty nicely, it would seem. I even got visited by the fairy! What luck! Yes. Bigger! Bigger! Well, it's probably been enough time now. Let's go check- Oh! Oh! What the heck, dude? All the- all the plants have faces in them! This is creepy! The plants themselves don't actually really seem to do anything. They just turn back into the people that you captured. I guess so you can start the exact same process all over again. Which, by the way, this mod totally ruins and corrupts the whole game. Because no one is there anymore. So I guess all that's left to do is to travel back in time and save scum. Huh? 
Uh, what the... What the heck is going on? Why does everything seem so... Weird? Hello? Is anyone there? Did I... Did I break the timeline? Uh, maybe I didn't go back far enough? Or did I accidentally go forward? Clint? Clint? I'll even take you, buddy. Come out. Something really weird is going on, guys, and I've got a bad feeling. <laughs> oh! oh, what the heck? Clint! Why'd you do this? For, for some reason, I don't, I don't know why something's happened to all the villagers. Oh, no. It's all my fault, isn't it? I butterfly affected the whole town. How am I going to be able to get back now? How am I going to be able to make this right? Save me, Ashton Kutcher. Save me. Wait, some some of them are still here? But they're ghosts? Okay, wait. I can still trigger the cutscenes, but it's just a ghost. Hey, yo, Mayor Lewis, what up? It's just a normal day, am I right? Yeah, sure, Haley. I'll help you open that jar. Wait a second. I gotta get the heck out of here. I can't be in a place where the logical laws of ghost physics don't apply. Oh, man. I think we did it, guys. I think we made it back. Everything looks untouched. I can't believe it. Look, everyone's back to normal and the cutscenes are triggering properly again. Can I help you with that, Mr. Molnar? Hmm, sure, sweetheart. Wait, does he say that? I don't remember. Hmm, <laughs> even I can hardly reach it. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. I think we stumbled into the... Please, God, no, I don't want to ruin my wholesome experience of a game. It must be tough growing old. What are you talking about, Paint? He just slapped your butt. Wait, you know what? Fuck it, yo, yo. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we take this a little further? Make it a real nature shoot. Whatever could you mean? No, no, stop. Please stop, Haley. Who did all this? Why did you do this? What? No. What the fuck? It's just chaos theory, guys. Butterfly effect and all that, you know? Oh, God, not even the animals are safe. You know what? This is too weird. I'm going back to the ghost world where people are ghosts. <sighs> well, I don't know if this counts or not, but I'm counting it as a win. Hey guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a lot of fun to put together. It actually took me quite a while to find all the stuff and figure out how I was going to put it all together. So, hope it was fun times for you. As always, thank you so much to everyone who supports me over on Patreon, gives me art, does all the thingies, stuff and thingies. And if you just can't wait for more videos, I got two more videos for you right there. How about some more modding videos to tide you over? Well, that's it for me this time, guys. I'll see you guys on the next episode.